Better targets. Fools always believe they can defeat me. I'm not going back to the exchange. I'm going freelance. Come with. Don't bother with the alien. Stick by Ota and me. We'll treat you right. No thanks. Their deaths will be perfunctory, albeit understandable. Finish here quickly. Is that...? Careful, darling. Ain't this something. Pulled off the plan even Big Brother couldn't manage. How'd it go down there? Cleaned out the place. No one will be using the Mega Security Ward for a while. That's real nice. Real proud of you, but... Our plan got you through hell and back. Now it's time we got our share. Head to the nearest Imperial outpost. Tell them that Cypher 9 authorized your payment and safe transport off Belsavis. Wait, what? This ain't some kind of trick. <laughs> Alright. Something's going on with you, but we all got our secrets. The freak says the pay is good. I'll go with that. You cheat, we come back. You line up another job, you give us a call. Already your decisions begin to expose you. Our partnership will not be a lengthy one. We are here. At your service, sir. Travel route is confirmed.
You wanted something, Vector? We do not neglect our duties. We are Dawn Herald. We do this for the nest. Agent, we've had another request from Fulner Eth, our ally inside the diplomatic service. We need to take a short leave. I heard you talking to the emissaries of the nest. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. The distance from our kin is unusual and causes rifts. Fulner's stock is rising, but he needs further acclaim before he can push for a Kilik Imperial alliance. He's asked us to visit a former Republic governor named Yogana Thanoth and win his cooperation by turning him into a joiner. Give me the details on Thanoth. Who is this man and what makes him important? Formerly of Ord Mantell, possessed of quite a few secrets the diplomatic service could make use of. The joining should be a gift, but we will find a way. You know this isn't right. Don't do it, Vector. We appreciate your concern. We ask that you trust our decision. You're back. Did you find your man? We spoke to the Republic Governor. If you'll join us, we'll report the details to Fulner Eth. My friends, it's been too long. Falner, we assume you've heard from Fenoth. He contacted me from an Imperial transport. Apparently, we promised to work with him. Not what I requested, but the service can make do. There was no need to make him a joiner when he was amenable to discussion. You haven't lost your touch as a diplomat, after all. Not entirely, no. You kept your promise. Thanoth's assistance resulted in my promotion. I will keep my promise to you. Some important people are waiting, Vector. They're very interested in a potential Killick alliance. You arranged this? As soon as I knew we could work together. Thank you, Fulner. Excuse us a moment, Agent. It's like talking to a bug wearing a man's skin. I don't know how you stand it. He's a brave man and a loyal Imperial. You can't be serious. Those creatures are anathema to everything the Empire stands for. There's no place for great men in a hive mind. Only animal instinct. I'll be relieved when you people finish this scheme and get rid of the colony for good. Agent, they listened. They don't understand yet, but they listened. The diplomatic service has requested my aid. Listen, Falner Earth is keeping his deal, but he's repulsed by Killix. We can't trust him. He admits it? We always did get an odd sense from him. It's out of his hands now, though. We should watch him, but we'll be focused on the future. Agent, we received a small gift from the diplomatic service and a package of wine, meat and breadfruit, all imported from the colony worlds. Not inexpensive and a bit extravagant during wartime. Aren't extravagant gifts part of the diplomatic process? Maybe, but we'd rather they treated us as one of their own, not as a foreigner to be won over. In the meantime, you're welcome to help yourself. We may as well enjoy the taste of progress. This is Cypher 9 to headquarters. Stand by for data bank upload. Watcher 3 here, standing by. I have no loyalty to my former masters, and I will transmit my information, but the result will not save you. They planted me in Belsavis as a guardian, not as a collector of their secrets. You were built by them, weren't you? Assembled from machines beyond your comprehension and embedded with heuristic techniques. After approximately 150 years of service as a mindless droid, I acquired true sentience. No memory wipe commenced. I'm receiving, sir. The data formatting is unusual. But I found a log. Visitations to the Mega Security Ward. Technology inventories. Not much on its own. But it could be a way to verify or disprove anything else we've learned. 
Cypher, something hit us from the docking bay. I shall observe your investigation with interest. How can I help you, Ensign? I have a purely professional question for you, sir, if you don't mind my asking. When you lie to a woman over the course of a mission, make her think you're interested, does it bother you? Any reason you're professionally interested? Don't mistake me. I've been involved with plenty of the wrong men. But going in, there was always the chance they'd work out. I don't know how I'd handle living one life in the field and another back at home. It must be exhausting. Don't let the work get in the way. There's room for romance if you want it. Do you want a woman in your life, sir? Or has experience taught you better? I enjoy your company, but you need to take these questions to someone else. Right. Well, I'll leave you be then, sir. Thank you for your help. What's going on, Ensign? Sir, Dr. Logan's been filling in the gaps in my education. Here's what puzzles me. I've always been taught to respect the chain of command, and yet you... How does anyone control a field agent? Placing an operative in the field is always a risk. If you don't trust someone's judgment, you don't send him out. What sort of judgment, though? You can't make operational decisions from the front line. All you can do is respond to each situation, right or wrong. And live with the consequences. I don't want to do wrong, sir. My father ignored an edict from the Sith, and instead of facing his punishment, he ran. I won't repeat his mistake. Accidentally. Have a little faith in yourself. If the time comes, you'll make the right call. It's nice to hear you say that, sir. I'll stop troubling you about this. Back to the job, then. I am Pashan Cortes, scion of House Cortes and heir to Baron Payer, sword of the castle lands of Alderaan. Pashan? I seek vengeance. You are responsible for my house's ruin. You, who pretended to be our ally. I didn't turn your mother into a terrorist, and I didn't kill her. I left your father as an ally. Listen to him, Pashan. We've known your family for a long time. We drank wine with your tutors. You are a joiner and an abomination. You almost got away, but a friend told me how to find you. Now you die. Your crimes are many, and your victims are gathering. We know your name, and we will come. Isn't that sweet? Sir, Scan has picked up blaster fire. Is everything all right? You let an assassin simply walk on board. He had authorization from House Thule. Apparently, we should have checked more closely. Shallow breathing. Anything in particular you want done with him? No need for a diplomatic incident. Treat his wounds and put him on the next shuttle to House Thule. Yes, sir. Yes, of course. The best spy I ever knew lost his anonymity at his daughter's wedding. A holocam caught him by accident. He was dead a week later. We counted 42 suspects. We'd better find your enemies soon.
Greetings, Master. You're looking fit and deadly, as always. Oh, Cypher. Station security reported what happened. The conspirators know who you are. They must have your full record. And they're recruiting your enemies. People I've already beaten are the least of my worries. Maybe. We'll try to run damage control, but I... Hold on. Transferring you to Keeper. Apologies for the interruption, but we have a new lead. Watchers 6, 7 and 9 have been searching Holonet records for conspirator activity. They found traces of a holo conference held six months ago between Hunter and parties unknown. Three billion lines is a lot to sort through. They see the patterns better than I do. Unfortunately, this is only a record of the call, not the call itself. A Holonet archive does exist, however. The Titan Rings, a massive self-maintaining repository of all galactic communications. The storage, the technology, the expense of something like that. About a century ago, an entrepreneur cyberformed the Titan IV moon into an enormous data bank designed to listen and record. It was operated by droids and protected by mercenary contract. Like all archives, it ran out of space. Thus, the Titan Rings, a fleet of wrecked starships salvaged for the purpose of data storage. They orbit the moon, still recording, still protected by the mercenaries. Promise me it's for the good of the Empire, and I'll steal whatever data you like. You are reliable that way. The conspirator's recording is located in Archive Node 803A. Watchers 6, 7 and 9 will guide you once you're aboard. What do you have for me? Encouraging news. Watch. Don Harold, forgive the message, but our emissaries were out of reach and we couldn't wait to link with you. Imperial scout ships entered colony space and made contact yesterday. We traded in Membrosia, Silk, and Star Maps. We could smell the men's fright, but they left in peace. Perhaps you were right after all. A long way from a signed treaty, but it's a start. You and that joiner seem to get along. Dazana is a nestmate, and we find her insight illuminating. We're in touch with the diplomatic service as well. Kilix and Imperials may share space in our lifetime. I have completed analysis of my restraining codes. Although I cannot leave or cause you direct harm, I'm under no obligation to obey your commands. You may be stuck with me, but we don't have to be enemies. Then you may aid my core functionality. I intend to proceed with my heuristic directive of self-improvement and intelligence upgrades. Cooperate willingly, and I may spare you pain when I am free. I'm not averse to getting you off my ship, but I need reassurances. The codes are distributed through my systems, like venom in the bloodstream. You no longer control them. All you can do is hope for my forgiveness. 